Hi guys, welcome back. It's time for another morning meeting or daily calendar. Let's begin. Today is Tuesday. So T, one finger over the thumb in a circle. Tuesday. Today's date is 4-14-20 or April 14th, 2020. The day of home learning is 23. So, what's in the ones place? Three. What's in the tens place? Two. What's in the hundreds place? Zero. We're not in the hundreds, thank goodness. <laughs> Today we're gonna count by four. So we're gonna use our handy dandy hundred chart like you guys would use the number chart at the top of your desk. So let's count by four. One, two, three, Four. Four is the first number. One, two, three, four. Eight's the next number. One, two, three, four. Twelve is the next number. One, two, three, four. Sixteen's after that. One, two, three, four. Twenty. One, two, three, four. Twenty-four. One, two, three, four. Twenty-eight. One, two, three, four. Thirty-two. One, two, three, four. Thirty-six. One, two, three, four. Forty. So, you can always use a hundreds chart to count anywhere, even skip counting up to a hundred. And if you think about it after that, you can just keep adding on to it and get as high as you need. So this is a good method for you to use whenever you can't remember how to get somewhere. I actually do it in my head. A lot of times I'll count by fives to something and then I'll count on from there with the numbers because I can never memorize the numbers all together. Some people have hard times with memorizing. So today's money, I put $7.75. You know that you need three types of bills and three types of coins. So let's start. So first, break down the bills. Seven. Well, does 20 go into it? No. Does 10 go into it? No. How about five? Yeah, a five can go into it. So if we have one as a five... What is left? So 7 minus 5. So let's count by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have 2 left. Well, how do we get $2? We get 1 and 1. Then we have $2. Okay. Now for the coins. 75 cents. Hmm. Well, start with the biggest coin. Does a quarter go into it? Yeah, you can easily get a quarter into that because it's 25. So, what's 25 minus 75? Let's find out. 100 chart again. 75 minus 25. I'm going to count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 50. Well, does a quarter go into 50? Yes, it does. So we have another quarter. Okay, so let's count by 25 again, by 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. What's left? 25? Well, that is a quarter. So 75 cents is 3 quarters. So to make $7.75, we need 1 5, 2 ones, and 3 quarters. Next, we're going to have the time of 4.30. So remember, when we're starting with this, we always start with the minutes when you make the clocks. Minutes is the big one. So you go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's the 6. So if we want it to be 4, though, you need to have this close but past the 4 because it's not an o'clock anymore. It's moving on. So right around the middle because the clock is right around the middle. So, if we're going to draw this, we want the little hand between the four and the five, and the big hand at the six. All right, on to the weather. Today's weather is sunny. Yay for sunshine. It actually looks like a beautiful day, and I heard it's supposed to be getting warmer. So, with that in mind, how warm do you think it will be? I remembered the weather today, and I remembered the temperature today. 
Right now it's 46, but I heard it's gonna be 55. So it's a good day for a nice walk outside or maybe just to sit in the porch and read a little. It's one of my favorite things to do. All right, what's my bonus today? For Easter, I gave my kids these cute tops. And one of the ways to make the tops work is if I can make it work, you spin it on a flat surface, which it doesn't actually like me that much. Let's try it on this flat surface. There you go. And once you have it lined up, it'll spin by itself. Works better on the floor. All right. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you later.